Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, thank you, Dale, for your, for your kind words. Um, hello, I'm, yes, I'm Tom Randall. I'm the Member of Parliament for Gedling and Chair of the All-Party Parliamentary Group for Axial Spa. And um, for those of you who don't know, an All-Party Parliamentary Group is, a, is an informal group where parliamentarians who've got a common interest on a subject uh, come together uh, to form a group. And uh, as you could probably see from the athletic way that I bounded up the stairs just there, I, I have AS, and it's a privilege to have the opportunity to... Um, co-chair um, a group um, which, which is a, uh, for a condition which uh, affects me, but also affects not only me, but, but one in 200 um, of the population, a condition that's more prevalent uh, than multiple sclerosis and Parkinson's uh, combined. And, I, and so I'd like to um, congratulate all of those who have been involved in this very important piece of work for this report uh, today. Um, as uh, Dale was saying, there's an average of an eight and a half year average time from the onset of symptoms uh, to diagnosis. And I, I believe I'm right in saying that compares presently um, with a diagnosis of perhaps between four to six years in comparable countries such as Germany, France and Italy. And I think as we've seen such great progress made by science and medicine um, over the last year, um, I think that the re, um, reduction in time to one year um, is both achievable and imperative. Um, we all know that AS starts in the teens or 20s um, at a critical time in people's lives when establishing careers and personal and pre professional relationships um, is so important. And delays to diagnosis uh, means a denial of earlier treatment. Um, the evidence is clear that delayed diagnosis results in poorer health outcomes, worse quality of life and higher health care costs. So I applaud NAS as being the first organisation in the world uh, to call for a gold standard approach uh, to Axial Spa. And today's report sets out a comprehensive and coherent uh, set of recommendations to address each of the delays at a diagnosis. It's also supported by a four-year implementation plan and a comprehensive online resource for the general public and healthcare professionals. And as Dale was saying, I led last year, a, I think a well-received adjournment debate on the delay to diagnosis. Um, as we all know, the NHS and the Department of Health have been sort of reasonably busy in the last year with, with one or two issues. Um, but um, hopefully um, we have got an agreement for meeting with ministers um, and we'll be certainly pursuing that in the months, in the, very shortly in the months to come uh, to, take, to have a face-to-face -face meeting with ministers to discuss the issues uh, that have been raised. Uh, but I would like to reassure you that members of the APPG from, from both sides of the House um, will continue to work with NAS to raise awareness and monitor the implementation of these recommendations. Uh, the time to act is now, um, and your parliamentarians are working to make sure that's the case. Thank you.